Hello, All Stars. It's Dr. Lamb here to talk about Habit 7 and do our last read aloud for this school year. The Story of Charles Atlas, Strongman by Megan McCarthy. Over 100 years ago, a large steamship sailed to Ellis Island in New York Harbor. It was packed with people eager to come to America to make a better life. On board was a small boy named Angelo Siciliano. He had traveled all the way from Italy and spoke almost no English. Although Angelo didn't know it yet, he would go on to do great things. Angelo spent his boyhood in Brooklyn, New York. His waterfront neighborhood was filled with Irish, Jewish, Polish, and Italian immigrants. Life on the streets was tough. Because of his small size, Angelo didn't stand a chance. On his way home one night, he was badly roughed up by a neighborhood bully. It seemed like he was beating the brains out of me, Angelo said. Things didn't get easier for Angelo as he got older. On one beautiful sunny day, Angelo took his date to the beach and a strong beefy man walked up to him and kicked sand in his face. Angelo was humiliated. Angelo wished he could do something to stop the bullies. He needed an idea. After visiting a local museum on a neighborhood field trip, Angelo got that idea. There it was, a statue of Hercules, the most muscular man Angelo had ever seen. Do you think a skinny kid could get like that? He asked his teacher. His teacher suggested that he try lifting weights to grow stronger. Angelo couldn't afford to buy weights, so he made his own. He used them at home every day but they didn't work. Grr. Angelo was frustrated. He needed to think, so he went to his favorite thinking place, the zoo. There he spent hours watching the animals. That's when he noticed a lion stretching. The muscles ran around like rabbits under a rug, Angelo later remembered. And Eureka! Angelo came up with a fitness routine. He realized that the lion was building muscles as he stretched by pitting one muscle against another. Angelo decided to try the new method for himself. He began to exercise and little by little, he grew stronger and stronger, strong as an ox. Angelo's hard work soon paid off. His new muscles didn't go unnoticed. You look like that statue, his friend said. The statue was the Greek god Atlas, who was said to have held the heavens on his strong shoulders. From that day forward, Angelo Siciliano, already nicknamed Charlie, became Charles Atlas, a new name for a new body. Atlas decided to show his new body off, so he became a strong man at Coney Island Sideshow. He lay on beds of nails while a grown man stood on his chest. He tore phone books in half. He bent iron bars into giant U's and he lifted heavy objects. People were amazed by his strength. Atlas also entered the world's most beautiful man contest and he won. A year later, he entered a bodybuilding competition and won that too. He was crowned the world's most perfectly developed man. Well-known artists seemed to agree and hired Atlas to pose for over 75 statues that can be seen across the country to this day. Atlas also became famous for his stunts. He once pulled a 145,000 pound train with his bare hands. Everyone wanted to be like Atlas. So with the help of his business partner, Charles Roman, he started a fitness course. Sick and tired of being soft, frail, skinny, or flabby, only feeling half alive, Atlas asked in an advertisement, I know just how you feel. And he did. 
There was much more to Atlas's course than big muscles. Take charge of your life, he told his pupils. Make your bedroom attractive and clean. Eat right. In the morning, don't dilly-dally, get up. Charles Atlas' passion for fitness was contagious. Even his secretaries joined in the fun. And people everywhere were getting fit. The Atlas course sold millions of copies worldwide. Atlas loved to inspire others, especially children. He cherished the letters he received from kids all over the world. Charles Atlas may have come from meager beginnings, but he was determined to succeed and he did. He remained in great shape up until the day he died. His fitness system called dynamic tension is still used today by people who want to get fit. Charles Atlas measurements are on file as the perfect specimen of the human body. He is still considered the world's most perfectly developed man. And here you can see his methodologies. He's got stretching and squats and split jumps, push-ups, yoga like downward dog. Well, all stars, I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day and it has been a pleasure to read to you this foyer.